Previously on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Rookie of the year, Jonathan Joestar had a breakthrough season at his boyhood club Liverpool and tore up the Premier League. On the pitch, Jojo was fighting for points and off the pitch, Jojo was fighting a different battle. A battle against evil and his brother, Dio Brando. Dio was in possession of a mysterious stone mask that had the power to grant humans supernatural abilities, which Dio tried to exploit on the football pitch. Jojo destroyed the mask and overcame the evil. However, his life was tragically cut short at the hands of the very man Jojo called his brother. 49 years after the death of Jonathan Joestar, the torch has been passed to a new generation. Welcome to Jojo's Part 2, where we follow the story of... Joestar, Joseph Joestar, but you can call him Jojo. Yo, 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 what is happening, people? Welcome to the first episode of the FIFA 24 EAFC 24. My bad. <laughs> the first episode of the player career mode on EA Sports FC 24. Still don't like the name. Anyway, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed the little intro there. If you're new to the channel, you'll probably have no idea what's just happened in the intro. Basically, uh, just to give you a little rundown, I did a player career mode series at the end of FIFA 23, where we followed the story of a man named Jonathan Joestar. And as you can see on the screen, we are now following the story of Joseph Joestar, aka Jojo. This is part two in the Jojo's player career mode series. I highly recommend just go back and watch the part one of of the Jojo series on FIFA 23. You don't have to, it's not necessary to watch to watch this part uh, and this series on this year's game. However, you know, there's gonna be a lot of callbacks to that first series, so I really recommend just watch that. There's a playlist on the channel where you can watch all of the episodes and get up to date. But like I say, it's not necessary. This will be a fresh experience for new viewers. And I'm really excited to get into this one today. EAFC 24 looks really fun for player career mode, so I can't wait to start it, as we can see, our pro right now is none other than Joseph Joestar. You can call him Jojo. Coming from England, young lad born in the 27th of September 2004. That's the lowest you can go as the age, so we may as well go there, you know? This is the grandson of Jonathan Joestar from part one of the series. And as you can see, he definitely has Jonathan's genes in his blood. This man stands at a whopping six foot five, only 154 pounds though. I was gonna put it way up at like 230. I think is what Joseph actually weighs in the anime uh, or 214 is what um, he weighs in in the anime Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Oh, yeah, I forgot to even mention bro. This is based on the anime Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Go and check it out if you haven't um, but yeah I think obviously on FIFA I decided to go with 154 pounds because if we went 6'5 and 200 pounds then we would just be an absolute slug. As you can see, our pace already, 55 acceleration, 59 sprint speed. Not great, especially when I show you the position. We're playing as a forward left. I hope this puts us as a winger and not an LF. You know, I want an LW. Um, so yeah, we're, we're a left winger and that'll become more clear once we get into the actual career mode and I show you the stats that we're going to upgrade first. Here is the boy, Joseph. Bit of a dodgy haircut, if you ask me. Um, but you know, he's a young lad. People go through these phases with their haircuts, you know, and it's going to stick with them for at least uh, a season or two. But without further ado, let's get into the series, man. There's a lot to come in this one following on from part one. I can't wait for this. Let's go. As the name suggests, this is an adventure. You know, it's Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. So this series is going to take us all across the globe. But first of all, we need to decide where to start it. Joseph's story is going to start in New York City over in the United States of America. I've never actually done any sort of career mode in America before, so I have no idea how the MLS season works. I'm pretty sure it runs at a different time to the European leagues, so that's going to be interesting to see how it works with the transfer window and stuff, but like I say, this series is going to take us all across the globe, and this is just the starting point, so we are going to join New York City FC. Here we go then, Jojo, reaching the training grounds. Warming up with his new teammates. Will he be able to find a spot 
in this squad straight away or will we have some hard work to do let's find out by the way if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers there is our boy joseph joestar looking clean i can't lie but uh, yeah man hit the subscribe button hit like if you do enjoy this series I'm going to be uploading it every Saturday, I believe. Um, a lot of effort goes into these player career mode episodes. I want to make it as quality as possible. Have you seen how small he is in the back, bro? Whoa! Oh, I forgot Jojo's 6'5", to be fair. He might be a normal height. Jojo's just a monster. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I'm going to upload every Saturday. This video should be going up on Tuesday. And if you hit, let's say, 50 likes, because it's the first episode, I'll drop another one on Thursday because I just hate myself and I love to overwork myself. So yeah, <laughs> drop another episode on Thursday and then Saturdays from then on. Also, the manager career mode is running every Wednesday, Friday and Monday. I have no idea why I said it that way around, but Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the creator club manager career mode, the most electrifying career mode in FIFA 24 entertainment. <laughs> um, and then Saturdays is going to be, you know, the player career mode, maybe double upload some weeks if I'm feeling sexy. So Let's jump into it, man. We're currently a sub. We are a left winger. It did register as a left winger. That's what we love to see. Um, and we've got to decide our personality. I forgot this was a thing in uh, career mode. So we get to boost our personality right off rip. We have Heartbeat, which is what Jonathan Joestar, our grandfather, was. Um, it is grandfather, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Jonathan was our grandfather. Uh, we have Maverick Virtuoso as the other two options. Now, our grandfather was a stand-up man. He was definitely the heartbeat of his team, but... Let's give you a little breakdown about Joseph Joestar. Yeah, just, this is a character right here. Joseph is a young, hot-headed, and confrontational young man. Quick to violently respond to the slightest provocation, Joseph would often get into brawls growing up, being imprisoned seven times and expelled once from school for fighting. Having no respect for authority apart from his grandmother, Joseph antagonized policemen and mafioso alike. Furthermore, Joseph is a foul-mouthed individual and regularly taunts his opponents, enjoying aggravating them. So, definitely going to be a few yellow cards this season, possibly a few red cards. Uh, and the personality type that I think definitely best describes Joseph Joestar is going to be Maverick. We're picking that up. We're getting 1,500 Maverick points. Uh, I want to see what we actually get boosted from that. So, if we go across to, I believe it's in uh, stats. Before we get to that, though, this is the major point I was talking about earlier on when I said it's going to take us across the globe. This year on EAFC 24 player career mode, you have an agent and you can choose where you go as your next transfer. So we can shape your journey by negotiating with clubs, improve your position in the current team, or explore your path to look for better opportunities. At the end of each season, your performance will be evaluated, and clubs that you have negotiated with will decide if they're interested in signing you. That's fire. The club's overall and your wage expectations determine how difficult the objectives are going to be. Achieving them determines if the club wants to sign you or not. That is such a fire addition to this uh, career mode. So this is um, obviously the New York objectives. We've got to hit these objectives to renew our contract at the end of the season. Or we can choose to transfer to another club at the end of the season and try and hit those objectives on the way, which we'll get to later on. Stay tuned. But here is what I was talking about. We have the player personality. So through activities, training and playing matches, you will earn different types of personality points, increasing your personality level. Each new personality level will allow you to equip one more play style and modify it to improve your performance on the pitch. Play style is obviously a new addition to the game this year. I was wondering how they would work on career mode, whether it would be from your overall, because like on pro clubs, it's you level up your overall, then you can put on play styles. But it seems that you level up your personality to put on playstyles, which is pretty cool. Um, personality types and playstyle selection, depending on distribution of different types of personality points, you will gain access to different types of playstyles. That is actually very cool, EA. Eh? Shout out to yous. Um, hey, yo, what? We just got a big close up there. A nice little thumbnail of Joseph Joestar. Love that. Um, okay, so last year, your personality gave you a bonus stats. It looks like this year it doesn't touch stats, but it gives you uh, the play styles. So let's see. The first one I definitely want to get on Joseph Joestar is going to be Trickster. Yeah, like I say, we'll get more into his personality soon when we do look at our actual stats, but grants the ability to perform unique ground and flick skill moves. Joseph, definitely a man who has a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Trickster, definitely the first playstyle we want on this man right here. 
Another one we're going to pick up as a playstyle is going to be Fair's Touch. Has reduced error when trapping the ball and is able to transition to dribbling faster with greater control. Like I say, we are a winger, going to be doing a lot of skill moves. So having increased ball control and being able to dribble faster with a better Fair's Touch is definitely ideal for our playstyle. So we need to get to tier 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to unlock more and we'll get that through the season very easily i'm sure of it there's a lot of things in the store that can improve your personality points as well unfortunately we have zero pounds in the bank right now jojo must have just been released from jail he's paid his own bail um <laughs> and we don't have any money to buy anything right now but you know it'll come it'll come jojo bro just keep saving up yeah here is what I wanted to show you is the attributes and skill points, archetypes, all that good stuff. What is going to be the main focus for Joseph Joestar? Now, like I've already mentioned, we are a winger. Pace, obviously very important for wingers. But like I said about Jojo's personality, he is definitely a trickster. And five-star skills is definitely going to be something we are aiming for, as well as just getting all of these dribbling attributes. You know, we're a big guy. 60 agility and 66 balance isn't great for a winger. We need to just pretty much max out this whole dribbling tree, as well as the pace tree. Shooting can come later. You know, we don't really care about the shooting or passing. Uh, physical too. It would be nice to max out the strength. Obviously, we are the grandson of Jonathan Joestar, the most powerful man in the history of the Premier League. That man was an absolute physical powerhouse. So it would be nice to boost up our physical stats. But as you can see, we have Jonathan's genes in our blood. And at 66 overall, we have very strong physical stats already. So pace and uh, dribbling is where we will aim our focus on the skill points. I'm just looking here. So we've got to have 19 successful one-on-ones to renew our contract next season. So if we can't dribble past players, we don't get another contract. Do we have to hit all of these? Um, it's all about danger from the wide areas at New York City FC. The philosophy focuses on getting the ball early to attack players on the flanks and building overloads by allowing the fullbacks to get forward. That sounds perfect for our playstyle, but we need 19 successful one-on-ones. I'm gonna be dribbling so much. Um, shots to goal, 4%. I have no idea what that means. Skill move dribbles, 4. That's fine. And matches won, 1. Okay. <laughs> one match. Can we get one win this season? <laughs> Can we get one like on this video? <laughs> <laughs> the New York supporters have heard so much about this young man. Little wonder that Jojo joining up with the first team squad is being celebrated like a big money signing. The 18 year old will offer cover as a left winger and has already been praised by the manager. I know this lad Jojo is ready for senior football. That is right. We are ready. I've watched him come through the academy and I know he's got a chance at this level. Just put me in the squad, bro, and let me run. In it. Just let me run. I'm going to tear up this league. Let's go. Yo, I'm so hyped to get into a game here. Uh, speaking of the skill points though, do we not do training anymore? I swear there was, like last year you did training and then that helped you get into the, the main squad. Am I being blind or is there no training? Hold on, we've got a welcome to the club from the manager. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, you need to train every week and work to develop your skills. Okay, let me stop being blind then. Player growth, no, not there. <laughs> Central, so we've got advance, standings, player agent activities am i blind or do we just not have anywhere to train oh yeah i forgot about this let me check the calendar so what already so we're in january 2023 and the season runs until wow okay the season runs until september what the season runs all year okay it runs till october so then if we wanted to transfer it out it would be the january transfer window right i have no idea how this is going to work because it said at the end of the season then clubs can sign you. So if our season ends in October and we want to go to somewhere in Europe, their season's obviously already started. So do we join straight away or do we join in January then because it's their transfer window? That's a tough question that I do not have the answers to. If you know anything about the uh, NFL, I was going to say, <laughs> if you have any information about the MLS, let me know in the comments below because I'm lost. But uh, yeah, we've got some money in the bank now, 950 quid. Can we buy anything with that? Can we buy anything? Or is everything too expensive? Everything's too expensive. We'll leave it for now. Where do we train? No, that's the big question for me. <laughs> Where do we train? So we've just advanced the whole month there. That was the January transfer window. I've just realized that was the January transfer window. Okay. Whoa, that's a big transfer. Man City of San Rodrigo for 165 million. That's a big boy transfer. Trent to Barca for 80 million. I don't think there's any transfers being made in the New York club right now um 
but yeah, we'll get. Let's get to the the end. Oh, there we go. I spoke too soon. Tales Magno to Young Boys. He looks like a decent player. Brazilian striker, centre forward, left mid. I guess it's less a uh, competition for us. Maybe that's a good sign for for Jojo. We're selling an attacking player. That's the end of deadline day there, though. We can read a book by a club legend for some uh, Harpy points and Virtuoso points. We may as well pick these up and just keep doing as many activities as we can to level up our um, player, you know? So we have some recommendations from our agent. So our agent actually recommends clubs that we can transfer to. That's a nice addition. I can't lie, that is a very nice addition to the game. However, I am not interested in going to Cardiff or Rotherham. We do actually have a team in mind as a target, but I will get to that later on in the episode. Make sure you stay tuned for that because it's going to be the start of the story for this season, really. So, yeah, that's, it's going to be a big one. So, we can now train. It comes right before the start of the first game of the season. So, it says, why does it say 34? Uh, there are multiple training drills waiting for you to complete. You also get a first-time bonus which last year gave us XP for the first time bonus, and it does again. So, of course, each one gives you a different type of personality points too. Our focus will be on the Maverick points. However, I am going to do pretty much every single, um, you know, skill game over the time that we play this career mode, just for the XP boost that you get from the first time bonus. You can see you can get 500 XP from each one. So, I recommend doing that if you're starting to play a career mode. But for now... Let's just smash out the dribbling ones to get those initial uh, Maverick points. It's not often you see a 6 foot 5 winger either, so this should be a fun career mode getting into. You never really see tall wingers, do you? They're always the little smallest players in the team, but let's see how Jojo can do this season. So we leveled up to level 3 there. That's very nice. Off the rip, um, we got... Wait, there, why did we only get a B in the middle one? I swear down, we got an A in that middle one. But we got nine skill points. So that is very nice. Should we go straight away with dribbling? Or is a pace the more important part? I feel like the dri nah, 71 dribbling compared to the 50 pace that we've got. Let's focus on our acceleration and sprint speed. That's only five. We can go all the way down to the bottom, yeah? Ooh, okay. Let me get this acceleration. We get this one for sprint speed. This does acceleration too for four. And let's double up on acceleration again. 69 acceleration, 63 sprint speed is not bad compared to what we had before. Unfortunately, didn't move our manager rating uh, much. So we're only on the bench for the first game of the season. Let's jump into it. I don't even know if this is preseason or MLS. I didn't even look. But we're coming in off the bench. Uh, it looks like preseason. Coming in off the bench, our debut. We're 1-0 down. 55 minutes uh, gone in the game. Let's jump into it and see if Joe Star can make an impact. We're coming in as a striker as well. Not even on the wing. We're playing as a striker here. Let's go. Well, substitution time. And this is his professional debut, Stuart. Well, what a moment this is. He'll be nervous, but he'll also be excited. Now, Joseph looks clean, I can't lie. He looks clean, I can't lie. <laughs> We're going to go with the enhanced objective here. I think we go with um, this one. It's the easiest. Attack and passes complete two in the opponent's half. That is easy. We're defending a corner here. Can we get our 6 or 5 frame on it? No, we can't. Oh, <laughs> good start. Jojo onto the pitch and we're 2-0 down instantly. Not like it was Jojo's fault, but <laughs> bro, for real, that's how we're getting introduced to the team, yeah? That's how we're getting introduced. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go. I don't like this camera angle, by the way. I'll probably change that uh, for the next game, but let's see how we play with it for now. Yeah, Jojo's a unit, man. Look at him. Look at him compared to the, even the defenders here. Oh, good start, Jojo. I was going to say, there's one of our two passes that we needed to complete. <laughs> oh, if we go 3-0 down here. <laughs> I can smell it already. Big tackle. I'll win that with my big head. Well in. There's one of the two passes. Go on, Martinez. Back into me. I'll have it again. Oh, Jojo. <laughs> That's not a good start. <laughs> the fans are booing him already. Here we go, though. Little one, two, Rodriguez. I'll get up there. I know how to play striker. I'm a striker on pro clubs. Get feed me. Jojo. Oh, big strike. Big save. Weird that we didn't come in on the left, though. I would have thought that's where um, we would have been playing as a left winger, you know. But maybe it doesn't register because the formation only has left mids and not left wingers. Maybe that's the reason. Oh, no. Oof. Oh, we got so lucky. That's out for a throw in, though. What is that? I'll win that, though. Six or five. Don't press me. Don't even try it. Here we go. Look at the ball in behind there, bro. 
Oh, laddie should have found that. I know I can call for the ball, by the way, so you don't need to let me know that. I am a, a top 100 player on pro clubs. I've just made that stat up, but I am a very good pro clubs player. I know how to play striker and use the ennies, but if you call for it too early, then they pass it to you, and then you end up doing like a double pass thing, if you if you know what I'm saying. So I prefer to let the computer just play it to me naturally, like this. Jojo! Oh, laddie got up there, bro. Couldn't get our head on it, though. I'll have, I'll have it. Oi, ref. Play on. Advantage. Play the advantage. Farm me, Thiago. I don't know any of these players, by the way. Like I say, I know nothing about the MLS. I'll get in the box if you want to cross it. Pellegrini, you've skinned him there, bro. Whippy. That's nice. Jojo's there. Farm me. Jojo! Oh, that was a pass, by the way, to the back post. That wasn't a shot, I swear. Nice ball there. Nice ball, Bettini down the wing. Defenders, uh, there's no way you can get skin that easy. Defenders, defenders, there's no way you can get... Oh, it's going to be a long season. It's going to be a long season. How did he just... How? You know what I mean? Like, how? Seriously? This is going to be a very long season. <laughs> he literally just walked past the fullback, though. Oh, come on, Jojo needs to start scoring. Once we get our first goal at our new team, you know, it's going to be... Like, that'll break the ice. Oh my god. Maybe I should break the ice by headbutting it. Give myself brain damage. It'll probably fix whatever's going on up there right now. What are they doing? You having fun there? 3-0 down. You're doing 1-2s not half. Get the ball forward, lads. Switch the play. Switch the play. Thank you. Rodriguez, that's more like it. Oi, ref. Now we can cook as Jojo down the wing, yes. Look at the space we're creating in the middle. That's nice. In the box. Oh, lad. Are we going to have another repeat of this? Last year's career mode. Our team sold. I think we finished like, what, fifth with Liverpool. Even though we were playing defensive midfield. Our strikers just couldn't score. Is it going to be the same thing again? Jojo, giving the ball away. I speak too soon, man. What I will say about FIFA 24 in general, or EAFC in general, I should say. The right bumper contain, you see above the that guy's head there when you hold the right bumper, RB slash R1 on the controller. It feels like it does absolutely nothing on this game. Literally, as soon as you press it, like your player just runs out of stamina and you don't win the ball back. Oh, Jojo has dropped an absolute stinker on his debut here. I was not expecting to play up front, bro. Like I say, I'm a good striker, but <laughs> I expected this build to be a winger. Press, please. Like, how do I tell him to go towards him? Get the ball forward. Yes, Rodriguez, I'm gone. Oh, lad, we had a chance there. I was through on goal if that ball made it to me, but it's full-time, 3-0. Absolute stinker of a debut for Jonathan Joestar. Not Jonathan Joseph. I've been saying Jonathan all video. Oh, so we've lost manager rating as well for that. It's not my fault you threw me into the deep end with a bunch of stinkers. Low match performance. We've got a media interview as well. Let's deflect the criticism. Let's do what <laughs> Joseph Joestar would probably do best. Stress that this performance was a one-off. Remind everyone how well I played in previous games. Literally. <laughs> Let's do that and say, hold on. Like, you're forgetting who I am? Rate yourself highly. Let's see what this says as well. Explain that even your uh, high requirements from staff are met. Oh, well, we're doing that. More Maverick points. And now we have some money that we can put into the shop. So... We're just going to buy everything that can give us stats, plus a training boost. Getting this one for sure, definitely first. Plus one balance and a 5% training boost. Don't mind if I do. Don't really focus on the Virtuoso points. Like I say, we want all of the Maverick points. Let's see how that's affecting our personality so far, though. So now that we've hit 25% Virtuoso, we unlock two Virtuoso um, playstyles, which are Traveller. Uh, contextually triggers outside the foot passes and shots which is a nice one and acrobat performs volleys with improved accuracy that is a very nice one i have a few players on ultimate team with that one and that is very nice so once we unlock more of these slots definitely looking to put on some of those ones there yeah i really like this new mechanic the effort touch holding the right bumper and then flicking the right stick to the side to beat the defender that is very nice indeed can we get our first goal as joseph joestar <laughs> here we go it was in a skill game Still counts in my eyes. We're up to level 5 now. That is a very big, very big increase there. So, already in the first episode, we're up to level 5. We've got some 6 more skill points, which, like I say, I'm just going to blast into pace, probably. Do we have any acceleration left? Yes, we do. Is that all, though? Is that all we get this one? 
Okay, so our sprint speed can go up to um, 77, I believe. Yeah, that's the correct maths. 77 sprint speed, 73 acceleration. Not great as a winger slash striker, but we're up to 68 overall um, in the first episode. Very nice indeed. And I don't want this to be too long as it is the intro episode. I just want you to get familiar with the player, the club, all that stuff that we're going to be doing this season. So the last thing I want to touch on, I promise you I would tell you is what it was going to be our target team for this season. And let's get into it. In the intro to this episode, during the recap from part one, I mentioned that there was a stone mask that could grant people supernatural powers. Now, Joseph's grandfather, Jonathan Joestar, thought he destroyed the stone mask. However... That stone mask was not the only one in existence. During an expedition in Mexico, a group of explorers uncovered a great evil, even worse than part one. There are many more stone masks in existence and this could spell trouble for the Joe Star bloodline as well as the world of football if people exploit these abilities on the pitch. It's already been brought to the attention of Joseph Joestar that these masks do exist and there are people who possess the supernatural powers that the mask can grant and they are running amok in the world of football over in Italy. In the Serie A, there are three players who have the power of the stone mask. We're going to refer to them as the Pillar Men. The first of these Pillar Men is over in Milan. His name is ACDC, not the rock band, but that is what it's based on. But yeah, you can see him right there, a 91 rated striker over in Milan. ACDC is the first of the Pillar Men. On the other side of Milan is another player who has exploited these abilities. We have Wamu, based on the band Wham. Um, so shout out to uh, George Michael. But you can see a 93 rated striker. So Inter Milan and AC Milan both containing a Pillar Man up front. Crazy stats on those guys. You see 91 overall, 93 overall. These two are going to be so hard to beat if we ever come up against them in a game. And if you thought they were going to be difficult to take down, over in Juventus, we have Cars, the last of the pillar men. 99 overall striker for Juventus. This guy looks like an absolute tank just looking at him on the side there. It's going to be so tough to beat these guys, but we can't let these players exploit basically performance enhancing drugs. We can't allow that. We need to get over to Italy and take these guys down. However, I think Jojo is a bit low rated right now to try and tackle these guys in the Serie A. So the Serie B is where we should really start. But over in the Serie B, there is one more man exploiting the powers of the stone mask. The 87 overall Santana Sanvieto. That is such a cold name, by the way. But you can see this guy again looking brolic. He's on the juice. What does this stone mask grant these pillar men? Now, the abilities include super strength, super toughness, super speed, increased intensity intelligence, senses, all of the above, high level body manipulation, basically turning their bodies into the perfect vessels for an athlete. You know, we're gonna have high stats across the board, good speed, agility, balance, strength, power. It's gonna be a really tough battle, but Joseph Joestar is gonna fight till his last breath to take these guys down and we need to get over to Italy as soon as possible. So we're gonna go across to our agent and we are going to set our target team. We want to go to the Serie B. And we need to go and get some training of a mentor over in the Serie B. And I think we can do that over in Venice. Let's join Venezia, if possible. You can see the um, requirements to join Venezia on screen. We need four successful dribbles with skill moves. We need eight shots on target. 4% shots to goal uh, ratio, I'm guessing that is. 26% matches in the start and 11. And 72 successful dribbles. Okay, that's a lot. Okay, that's a lot. But you can see over in Venezia as well, it's a very good club to join for our playstyle. They are also all about danger from the wide areas. The philosophy again focuses on getting the ball early to the players on the flanks. 
and as a left winger Joseph Jostar will fit in perfect over in Venice and hopefully we can carry uh, Venezia up to the Serie A after we defeat the Pillarman over in Palermo and then we can go ahead and try and beat the Pillarman over in Milan and Juventus if not we might have to transfer to another club but I believe we might have to do that anyway because Joseph Jostar is not going to be fighting this battle alone we have an ally over in Rome in Italy in the Serie A currently. His name is Cesar Antonio Zeppeli. Now that second name Zeppeli might sound familiar to you if you watch part one of the JoJo's career mode. And that is because our mentor and sensei in part one was none other than William Antonio Zeppeli. This being the grandson of William Antonio Zeppeli called Cesar Antonio Zeppeli. So we have Cesar over in Rome. Will we make it there? Will we not? Let's find out on the next episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. For now though, let's go ahead and set our agent to focus on Venice. And there we go. All we have to do now is uh, reach the objectives. And then, yeah, we're all good to go. 72 dribbles is going to be tough though. But we've got a long season ahead in the MLS to do that. So... Yeah, I can't wait to get into further episodes of this career mode, people. Hopefully, you did enjoy me setting, you know, the, the story, the pace in this first episode. If you do enjoy the concept I've got going on here, please hit the like button. It really does mean a lot. Drop some comments and uh, subscribe. Yeah, like I say, if we have 50 likes, I'll upload another episode on Thursday and Saturday. And then from then on, it'll be Saturdays. And I might do two uploads a week, maybe on the Thursday or the Tuesday, depending uh, on how much you enjoy this series. You know, if you want me to try and bring uh, two or three episodes a week, then if there's overwhelming support and demand for that, I might just have to. But for now, that is going to be the end of the first episode. If you did enjoy, like, comment, share, subscribe. You know the vibes. I'll catch you next time, people. Take it easy.